सिंस दि लास्ट क्वाटार अफ टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन टील टाइम अफ टू थाउजेंड टोन्टी दि मैन कैंड अफ दि इूनिवार्स इज पासिंग थ्रू एन अनफर्सिन पैंडेमिक हुईच इज नेम डैस कोड नाइनटीन जस्ट टू गेट रिड ओवर स्प्रेडिंग दिस कोड नाइनटीन पीपल आर एडभइज टू पुट मास्क अन फेस नट टू स्पीड हियर एंड देयर वाश हैंड थरोलि बै शोप Maintain a safe distance of six feet in between two. If anyone is tested positive, the airline must move to self-isolation. We must not undermine several other issues related to health, which affect us as a whole in a large way, like motor speech disorder, which I am going to brief now. Motor speech disorder is speech production deficit that results. from impairment of the neuromuscular or motor control system it may coexist with other language impairments oral movements impairment including chewing and smiling dysarthria is one type of motor speech disorder resulting from disturbances in muscular control weakness slowness or incoordination of the speech mechanism due to damage to central or peripheral nervous system or both depending on site of lesion dysarthria is categorized into some types those are flaccid spastic ataxic hypokinetic hyperkinetic unilateral upper motor neuron and mixed here we will discuss about spastic dysarthria spastic dysarthria is perceptually distinct motor speech disorder produced by bilateral damage to the direct and indirect activation pathways of the central nervous system etiologies vascular disorder strokes in internal carotid middle and posterior cerebral artery damage in upper motor neuron lacunar infarct small deep strokes in penetrating arteries of basal ganglia thalamus brain stem and deep cerebral white matter degenerative disease primary lateral sclerosis begins in fifth to sixth decade manifested by corticospinal and corticobulbar tract signs with associated loss of neurons in the motor cortex inflammatory disease leukoencephalitis in an inflammatory demyelinating disease that affects the white matter of brain or spinal cord in hemorrhagic leukoencephalitis the white matter of both hemisphere is destroyed with similar changes in the brain stem and cerebral peduncles white matter disease can affect upper motor neuron pathways and cause spastic disease congenital disorder cerebral palsy congenital suprabulbar palsy oromotor deficit neuronal migration disorder congenital bilateral pedislavian syndrome sign and symptoms mono loudness mono pitch articulation problem tremor weakness involuntary muscle movement muscle wasting resonance problem patient perception and complaints slow effortful speech fatigue with speaking nasal speech swallowing problem problem in controlling emotion assessment procedures case history includes onset and course of symptoms associated deficits medical procedures medication review of auditory visual motor cognitive language and emotional status education vocation and cultural backgrounds patient and family report cranial nerve examination observation of facial and neck muscle tone assessment of sustained vowel prolongation alternating motion rates sequential motion rates are done under non speech examination in prosody ability to use variety of pitch loudness and duration to convey emotions in speech intelligibility the degree to which the listener understands the individual speech incomprehensibility percentage of words correctly identified by a listener 
under efficiency the rate at which intelligible or comprehensible speech is communicated are being assessed language assess receptive and expressive language skills in oral and written modalities attention memory organization executive function are assessed under cognitive communication swallowing function is important in case of dysarthria treatment treatment is individualized to address the specific areas of need identified during assessment primary strategies are to improve impaired subsystem and focus on specific functions in relevant speech task antispasticity medications such as benzodiazepines example digipam valium dentrolene dantrium baclofen lyorizal clonidine catapres and gabapentin neurontin sometimes decrease limb spasticity Intrathecal baclofen has improved intelligibility in one person with cerebral palsy associated spastic dysarthria. Botox injection helps in improving voice quality and intelligibility for an adult with dysarthria secondary to cerebral palsy. In patients for whom pseudobulbar affect is a significant problem, low doses of amitriptyline may help relieve the abnormal crying and laughter. Speakers with spastic dysarthria may benefit from relaxation exercises, stretching exercises of the articulators. Factors influencing decisions about treatment includes the individual's communication needs, his or her motivation, presence of other deficits or conditions, natural aging process, and acceptance of disability. As it is a vast subject, but due to constraint of time, I have to stop here. Thank you for your patience hearing.